Everybody's old enough. 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 It's almost 10 o'clock. I've got to go. Tomorrow is Monday, and work begins at 8 in the morning for me. Oh, I'm so happy that Max is home. He's the sweetest little thing. <laughs> I'll drive you to the station, dear. Uh, you can catch the 1020 train to Grand Central Station. I'll drive, Susan, dear. Oh, thank you, Philip. Then Grandpa Robbie and I can finish wrapping all these gifts. <clears throat> It's so good to have you home again. And to see Max asleep in his bassinet at home with us. To be with our family. You know, that Stuart TLC. TLC. Tender, loving care. <laughs> That's our motto. Did you see the washcloth and the towels? The teddy bears on them. <laughs> Alexandra and the Molina sent them for Max. It was so kind of them. Now Max is coming to everyone's life. The house is so alive with him here. The welcome sign over the door, the boxes of presents, the M A X over his bassinet. Robbie put that there. <laughs> Susan's teddy bear. So cuddly. A beautiful crib for mom and dad. Oh, and grandpa's baseball glove. You know, it hung over my crib, too. And it hung over Robbie's crib. <laughs> Part of grandpa's magic? Oh, that's not all. It hung over Susan's crib. The same baseball glove? That's right. Grandpa hangs it there for good luck. He says, it always brought him good luck on the baseball team. <laughs> He believes it'll bring good luck to all the Stewart babies. <laughs> and then he takes it back when Max is ready to use it? Yes, and replaces it with a new glove, so the old one will be ready for a new member of the Stewart family. Grandpa really loves his family, doesn't he? So do I. And so do I. And so does Max. After he eats. 